Hi everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Armenia. I'm here with my guide Lucine and we're at the Apaga Resort. This is a resort up in a mountain next to a village and basically there's an extreme park here. So what is here and what are we going to do today? We can do a lot of things uh, at uh, the Yellow Extreme Park. You can off-roading, paragliding, rock climbing, hiking, horseback riding and definitely do not miss the zip line. So it's a lot of like outdoor activities, basically everything outdoors. We're going zip lining today. I can't wait. I'm excited. I've done it a few times. Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, but it's been a long time. And then after that, we're going to get a tour of the property. We're going to have some dinner. I'm excited. How about you? Woo! <laughs> This place is beautiful. It really reminds me of Umbria. That's where my family's from in Italy. So the Gubbio area. So Gubbio is a town and there's a lot of mountains around there. Very, very similar scenery. I'm sure here in winter, it's freezing. We are here to put on our equipment and then we will follow our instructor and, <laughs> and they will take us to have really good time. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. A lot of foreigners, some French, some Italians. You ready? Yay! So the way it works here is that once you get here, you sign a waiver and then you get your equipment. Helmet, equipment, and they'll like, they're gonna show us everything. They're gonna basically instruct us on how to do it. I've done it multiple times, so I know exactly how to do it. Once they lock you in, they put two locks and you go down and you're always connected. All right, so step through. Let's do it. We're actually in a hurry. They're starting soon. Putting on the harness, right? Tightening me up. So he's just making it super tight. Very tight everywhere. Obviously, this is going to keep you alive. So, what are we missing? We're missing the helmet, right? Gloves. Well, put this from right here, right? Okay. Great. Thank you. Oh, dude, I, I want the orange one. No, I'm joking. This guy is not. This guy's not happy. <laughs> Here we go. Gloves on. Let's go. I'll say, out of all the adrenaline things I've done in my life, this is the easiest. The one I'm not really scared at all about. You know, bungee jumping and skydiving are really, really scary. This is a lot easier. The guy in there's a little scared first time, but you know, your first time for anything is scary. But this is it's not so bad. Wow. I love this scenery here. So before I told you I wasn't nervous, now I'm nervous. <laughs> that's really, really big. It's a big drop. So that's one, you have two, I guess two, three, four, it goes all around here. Incredible, beautiful mountains. Not so bad, not so bad. Platform, okay, come here. During the flank, the never touch this cover. Uh, okay, perfect. Hold this now, Rob. To hands all this narrow. Send go. Woo! Whoa! That was a uh, that was a little difficult with the camera. <laughs> it was good though. I loved it, man. Wow! You can really see everything from there. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's coming. She's coming hot. We have a guide in here and he is going to accompany us to the next stop, to the next lines. So we walked for like literally two minutes and we got here to a platform. Basically this is like a lookout point, right? Just a lookout point. This is point. like watch point, you have a nice view, you can take a lot of photos in here, have a minute of rest and continue ziplining. Wow. Woo! No, you're screwing. No, the wind just hit me. No, the wind just hit me. No, but if you move back, you don't feel the wind. It's like the second you get here, it just oh, yeah. hits you. Wow. Look at that. Here you go. Are you ready? Line two. This one isn't that bad. This is actually a very, very short one. This is very, very short, so there's a you need to jump very like fast run? and high. Yeah. Okay, do it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Woo! 
Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up on the floor. <laughs> okay, first one was a little hard, especially with the camera, but that one was awesome. Oh, and the next one's right here. Woo! Let's go. Run, 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 run. Woo! Oh my god, that was crazy. That was so big. Were you guys scared? I looked down, I was like, where am I, bro? This is nuts. High five. <laughs> so they even calculated the paths where how long we are walking, and we're gonna need water right now, and they have water in there. No way. Yeah. <laughs> this is so awesome. We will have a minute rest, we will have fresh water. I need a minute. I need a minute. I know you did, yeah. They, no, they I mean, that was, that was a big hike, right? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it was like a good 10 minutes good walking. Like perfect spot for having a bottle of water, a glass of water. This is a <laughs> perfect spot for water. Thank you. I need water. So bad right now. So bad. Oh, it's very kind of them to think about us. <laughs> Can I have another one? Fourth line, halfway there. What did he do? He just ran, he jumped? Oh my god. I know, but man, but hold on, hold on. Ah. What is happening there? The cœur is not perfect. That was crazy. I, I swear, when I saw it, I was like, what the? What's going on? Yeah, that's crazy. Two more to go. Wow, that one was epic. She's crazy. She's crazy. This is like the biggest staircase in the world. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, but wow. It's a lot of steps. A lot of steps, super steep mountain here. It says, take a light break, it says right here. Whew. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, this is so cool. What an experience. That's something I didn't know you could do in Armenia. Now you guys know. Well, I'm out of breath. We made it here. Number five. Oh. And there's another oh. platform here. Beautiful spot. Wow. wow. Do you I don't want water here? No, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> so we're both gonna go at the same time and the reason we had to let him go before us is because they need two people over there. So when we get there, somebody has to be on each rope to stop us, you know, break us from going too far. Whoa! Oh, that was great though. That was good. Whew. That was actually the easiest. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. If you're gonna do the zip lining, I suggest you be a little fit. Because the hikes. <laughs> or do it on the first day when you are in Armenia. <laughs> yeah, right. Because after eating so much, you are getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gaining weight here. All right guys, this is the last line. Sixth line, once we pass this, we go back to the resort. You guys ready? Let's go. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> David, there's another surprise for us. They are taking us to off-roading and you're gonna like it. We will drive around the mountains. 
It's going to be super. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited, I'm excited. I just saw the, the vehicle, they have a video with the vehicle. It's a big, big truck. That truck is like an open air, I guess like a bus? It's, like a big bus? It's like handmade here. Oh yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Off-roading. This is like an open air bus. That's what it is. This is going to be scary because on the way in, the roads were really, really bad, really, really bumpy. But that's part of the experience. You know, we are in like super high in the mountains near a small village. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go. Just got to hold. Put my feet out. Hold. It's going to be super crazy. <laughs> Mountain. It's a really rocky mountain road. I can't even imagine going in here with like a regular car. <laughs> this guy's like completely went off road. There's no path right now. We're just in the middle of a forest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this tumbles, we're dead. That was so crazy. Wow. Wow, look at this. We're on top of the mountain, made to a summit. Woo! Look at the views. This is crazy. No, I won't lie though. That was the scariest thing I think I've ever felt in my life. I thought the car was just gonna flip. Wow, I'm still shaking a little bit. It's all good though. It's called Extreme for a reason. Extreme Park. We are now on Pastixar, which means small mountain. Imagine this is small one. <laughs> and you can see a beautiful valley on the bottom of it. And it's called Fruitful Valley. Locals call it Fruitful Valley. <laughs> wow, I can hear echo like for miles. Okay, I don't want to lose my voice. I'm going to try. That is really amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> let's go to dinner. <laughs> let's go to back. Yeah, let's go Next back. Part, we're going to drive back all this way. No, <laughs> I I'm gonna walk down. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, that was that was really an amazing experience, guys. We've arrived to Apaga Resort. This resort has 12 cottages. Each cottage has two different levels, so there's like 23 rooms here. They have a stable, they have sports ground, reception, restaurant. We're here at the reception, and as you can see over here, we have a lot of dogs, and we have the horses coming. Wow, look at all these horses. Wow, this is beautiful. Once you pass reception, over here to the left, we have the restaurant and we have a beautiful bar. Look at this bar. My man, we're gonna drink soon. Vodka, vodka. Vodka. <laughs> and over here they have pork barbecue right to the left. So it's in like an open kitchen right there. Look at that, amazing. Now let's go to the rooms. Up here, I'm number what, eight? I think it's eight. Eight one, so the first level. I love this. 
Feels like Christmas. <laughs> I mean, they're like huge mansions, stone mansions. Wow, this is so different. Ooh. Hey, the weather couldn't be better. The weather is phenomenal. So number eight is there, number five, four, three, two, one. It is that one right there. David, this is our cottage. Look what a nice facade we have in here and a gorgeous view is in there. You're gonna admire it early in the morning, in the evening, and at the night with the stars are is going to be gorgeous. So let's go and check it out. This is us, number eight. Welcome to my room in cottage number eight. I'm loving it already. Very mountain feel. Loving the furniture. Look at this. Got coffee. Got you know cups for coffee. Nice table here. Relax. Have your coffee. Check out the view. And then over here we have two different couches, so you can just relax, right? Just post up. If I sit here for like five minutes, I'm gonna pass out. So I <laughs> stand up. And then over here we have two twin beds. It's perfect. I can sleep at that very easily. I love the temperature right now. I'm literally gonna open the door and let the, like, the cold air just come in. And then come over here really fast. Let me show you the bathroom. Wow, big bathroom. Big bathroom. Oh, I love this. I love the stones, how they built it. Right, so the stones with the concrete. Oh, but I forgot to show you the best part. Check this out. The view. Have to unlock it. <laughs> Amazing, what a view. Sunset right now, look at that. You see the purple. All right guys, are you guys ready for dinner? Let's go eat, I'm really hungry. I can't wait to eat some pork barbecue. Oh, I can't wait. Lucy, are you hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. I need a wine and <laughs> good food. <laughs> see how cool in here, even during hot summer time, you can come here, have fresh air, and you enjoy the food. Wow, this food looks phenomenal. Oh my God, what do we have here? The lavash, we have the basturma, we have cheese, we have cauliflower, we have a tomato, cucumber salad. Yogurt with some paper in, uh, some olive oil and spices. You want to start with it? I, I just, okay. I think it looks so Let's ridiculous. Let's do it. All right. Beef, beef tongue, beef tongue. It's beef tongue. But it looks creamy. This is mushrooms in it too. Beef tongue with some mushrooms, with some sour cream and local greens. Ready? Mm-hmm. Let's try it. That was so good. Mm. Mm. It's like a vegetable beef salad, right? Because it's like herbs. What's in here? Very smoky. Mm. Nice and crunchy with the with the peanuts, but I love how, how creamy it is. It's almost like a pasta, like a creamy mm -hmm. pasta sauce. I'm blown away by this one. It's like carbonara sauce. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. This is a summer salad that you find on any table in Armenia. It can be home, it can be a restaurant. Let's try some of this. Mm hmm. Mm. So fresh. Super nice and juicy, tomato, crunchy, cucumber. The only thing missing here is feta cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we're gonna try the Armenian salad with, what is this, oil, onion, some spices. Looks really good, you have to do it with the lavash. So you grab the lavash, always put it out here. Super long, so you just rip off a piece, right? It's back, grab, break it up a little more. And then you go in, right? Just go in. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. It reminds me of like a hummus, but maybe it's like a, maybe a made of pepper. Mm. It is like the texture of, of hummus, obviously. Very creamy. Mmm. Love the spices. Very light. So local greens, red pepper, and olive oil. Wow. And I love that we're using our hands. Pasturma. Yershik. Sujuk file. So pasturma, if you guys don't know, it's basically cured meat with some salt, some pepper. So just to wrap it up, get a smaller piece. Oh, is the lavash. 
Mmm. Mmm. So gamey. Mmm. It's almost like a, like a delicious salami, but different because it has the salt and the pepper. And here we have the suju. Same thing, right? Like this. Wrap it. They love their lavash. Mm-hmm. It's like a super dark salami. So much food. Next up, we have the pork barbecue. Look at this piece, look at that. Love the fat, crispy, juicy. Oh, I can't wait. All right, let's cut this. So I think we got the rib here. Yep. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous. Oh my God, the fat, the flesh, the crunchiness on the outside, oh. Mm. This feast was delicious. I think my favorite thing, I go between the pork and the beef tongue. The beef tongue was like outstanding. But yeah, we're gonna end the night with some delicious wine. This is actually from Nangora Garapa. Yes, uh, there is a type of grape which is called Khandogni that grows only in Nagorno Karabakh. Okay. So they do this wine from one type of grape. And if you guys don't know where Nagorno Karabakh is, it's actually a second country, like another country next to Armenia. It's not recognized by any country in the world, but we're going there tomorrow, so you're gonna have a chance to see it. Uh, I'm super excited. Let's try the wine. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Wow. Oh, perfect temperature too, right? Mm -hmm. Nice and cold. Oh, this is so good. Wow, this is like perfectly paired with the pork, by the way. So let's repeat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so our day is over. We had an incredible time up here at the Apaga Resort. We started off by zip lining, super exhilarating experience, really amazing. I mean, so much fun. You have to do it when you come up here. And yeah, six lines. You liked it, right? You enjoyed yeah, it? Totally, yes. And then after zip lining, we went off roading. Really extreme, really yeah. scary, <laughs> really fun. There was one point, like when you're going up the mountain, where you look to the right, and literally you can just like go down but really amazing up there. As soon as we got to the top, I mean, the views were so epic. You know, we got photos up there, beautiful views. You enjoyed it as well, right? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, we're, just, we're really tired right now. <laughs> but yeah, and then after that we came to the resort, we saw our room, we had an amazing feast, delicious pork, pork, pork. Oh, thank you so much. So my, my room is heated, right? Yeah. Awesome. Well, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Armenia.